Hey guys, what's going on? Dustin here. If you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Oh no, you can you can actually kind of see there. I guess I'll turn that a little bit. Anyways, if you're new to the channel, please be sure to hit that subscribe button down below and leave a like button. We do lots of truck content on this channel. And today is the big exciting day that everybody's been waiting for. We we got the new pickup. It's here with us now. So I'm gonna reveal that to you guys here in a minute. Sorry I don't have any footage of actually going to get it yesterday. We actually went to get it yesterday pretty early. But don't have any footage of that. Uh, didn't really, it wouldn't have been any good anyway because it rained basically the whole way there. Rained while we were getting the pickup, rained on the way back. So it didn't make a whole lot of sense to film. Boy, I need some sunglasses or something. I'm kind of naturally squinty and it is bright out here. All right, so without further ado, let me introduce you guys to the new pickup. There it is. We got a 2014 Silverado four wheel drive. And guess what it is? High country. Yeah, that's right. We got the high country. And of course, it's got some pretty nice wheels and tires. So let me show you guys around it. So like I say, this is the high country. So it's got the different grill on the front. And then it does have aftermarket wheels on it. Mild lift on it. I think a leveling kit. I'll find out and do a review on that for you guys too. Because it actually rides pretty smooth. Of course, Cooper, he approves of it. He's been in it already. Uh, 33 inch tires. So... It, it's de it definitely sits up high. Whenever I open the door here, I mean, the top of this right here, which I like this by the way too, top of it hits me about mid thigh, no joke. So it's a little bit of a challenge to get into, but as you can see, the high country interior is just awesome. You're either gonna like it or you're gonna hate it. But I mean, just the stitching on it and then the saddle brown color it just looks really, really slick. Of course, it's got the perforated leather seats that are heated and cooled, and of course, check that out you got the high country logo there but I mean it's got every option that you can have for the year including the sunroof the uh, sliding back glass trailer braking all that fun stuff and I think that I like most about it and of course this is on all 2014 Silverados on the crew cabs look how much room there is in the back seat it is amazing so if we get in here you can see this seats pretty far back too but I've got tons of leg room but it is just, it's pretty slick. I mean, there's the color, there's a picture of the front, which we'll go up front and show you all the bells and whistles and all that fun stuff. But We got it in the tri-white color, which looks really, really good cleaned up. I wanted to go ahead and get something that is, let me back up a little bit so you guys can see it. I wanted to get something that was, um, Something that was a lighter color, because I do track quite a bit of traveling on dirt roads. So this fit the bill. So this ought to clean up real well. So you can see, it doesn't show mud or dirt or anything like that too bad. But yeah, super slick. Super slick truck. Pretty clean, not really any issues with it. There's a little bit of wear and tear in the bed. But I mean, it is a pickup truck, nothing, nothing unexpected. I mean, it's mostly, there let's have a little bit of a bed mat in it Ooh, that's right <laughs> but very slick looking of course the corner steps bumpers are painted to match the vehicle so let's jump inside and take a look all right so you can see I mean it's it's got everything that you want there's your AC seats, your heated, cooled seats, all that fun stuff. Um, sunglass holder, which that's pretty cool. This is the first vehicle I've ever had like that. <laughs> Garage door opener, closer, uh, your door lights. There's all sorts of cool little features that I'm finding out about this pickup. And I don't know if they're specific to the high country or if you can order it on the LTZ or the other models, but uh, power folding mirrors. It's got you know the presets for your seats, all that fun stuff. The nice Bose audio, four wheel drive selectors trailer braking and of course the one thing I love heated steering wheel man that is awesome I didn't realize how cool that is um, you know I mean it's got the the infotainment center there your knobs for your and I can turn it on so you guys can see all this fun stuff but I mean it's got everything for the year it's pretty slick Make sure this is down. Don't get copyrighted like that. 
There you go, you can see this. I think that's pretty slick. Close the door. Shows all the information up there about the unit down here. I uh, got all these different options down here. I'm still figuring out as we go. It's got LEDs in the bed. So if you you got cargo in the bed, you need to unload. It's got those back there, super, super cool. Everything interior wise, like the dome lights and everything like that, cab lights, they are LED and super, super white instead of uh, the typical kind of, yeah, there you can see. Super white as opposed to the yellow looking uh, older incandescent style bulbs. But super slick truck, real, real clean. No issues with it. Got the 5.3 in it. But it is slick, it is clean, no problems as you'd expect for a 2014. Whoo, that sunlight's bright there, it adjusted. But super slick truck, and you can see me standing next to it. I'm almost six foot. Thing's tall. <laughs> well, we were kind of nervous whenever we got home that it might not fit in the garage, but luckily it fit just fine. But uh, yeah, super excited to start making some videos for you guys about this pickup here. Uh, we'll do some really cool ones. I've already got an idea of the first thing I want to do to it, which is actually free, so that's exciting, <laughs> especially after, you know, paying for something like this. But anyways, super excited to show you guys. And I'm curious, leave down in the comments, what's the farthest you've ever went to pick up a vehicle? So before I do close the video out, I want to show you guys something pretty cool on this thing. And you guys don't... Oops, you guys don't want to see the inside of my house, right? So let's go outside to the garage and take a look at the pickup. So, okay, I'm going to turn the light off real quick so you guys can see what I'm talking about on this. Sorry about the mess in here. Hopefully the wind noise doesn't get us. We've got both doors closed, so it shouldn't be too bad. But I've got a mess. And then, of course, always, always, we got to have the Coke, guys. I am, uh, that is my vice is Coke for sure. They should sponsor me. All right, now that's nice and dark, let me show you guys what we got here. So we're in the garage and I'm telling you, these guys thought of everything on this. So I click the unlock button, check that out. There's little lights under the mirror, light up your logo. I mean, that's just, that's just cool. I mean, how unnecessary is that, right? <laughs> but looks really good, looks really good. And I wanna take you guys around, uh, actually to the driver's side, what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna show you guys in the cargo bed what you can do, it's got some lights in it that are cool. I mean, these, these guys really did think everything. It's, it's more truck than I'll ever use, that's for sure. I'm not ashamed to admit it though. <laughs> All right, let me turn the lights on back there so you guys can see what I'm talking about. I just like to share stuff like this with you guys. All right, so take a look at that. You got lights on the underside of the bed here for that. Let me show you guys. So how cool is that? How cool is that? And of course here, like I was saying, if you guys were curious, the interior, the lights are uh, a white instead of more of a, like a warm yellow. But it, at first I thought I didn't really like it because it was kind of harsh looking. But the more that I sit in here, the more I think I like it. it just looks pretty modern. But uh, oh yeah, there's another little light here that I think is pretty cool. My wife's car has this, and I've always thought it was really neat. Of course, the big navigation display, eight inch screen is awesome. And then you got it over here on the driver's side too. But once these lights go out, let's see if we can knock them out here. Yeah, you still got this little vanity light, if you will, up here that kind of shines down. And of course I got the garage lights on, so you're not gonna be able to see it. But it's convenient because whenever you're driving at night, you can still see the middle and see everything that's going on. So thought that was super, super cool about this. I mean, I'm just finding out more and more things about this every time I drive it. Uh, if you get too close to somebody, it, <laughs> there's little lights up here that'll flash up here, let you know you're getting too close. But who would do that, right? <laughs> but anyways, thought that was super cool. I wanted to share that with you guys. Um, like I say, just keep finding more and more features. Just super clean, super fun truck. But we can take a look under the hood if you guys want to. I know some folks might be interested in that. Oh, and then too, of course it not being diesel, it's just gas, but it takes E85 or gasoline. So let's go around the other side. I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. Checking my paper tag, making sure it's still good. We, it rained real hard today and on the way back, and just want to make sure it's on there. Hate to get pulled over, right? 
let's take a look under the hood. If I can find the latch. I'm not used to it on here. There it is. There we go. And move this dude out of the way. So you guys can see in here. And of course you can't see real good. Let me turn the light on my phone on for you. There we go. And sorry guys, had I been more thoughtful, I'd have filmed this for you during the day. But I mean, it's clean. They detailed it up good. I'll tell you guys a little bit about the, uh, the dealership here in another video and just kind of the experience I had there because uh, uh, a guy I worked with named Cody, super, super nice guy. I, I worked everything over the phone with him and I talked to several dealerships and some of the offers that I gave them. Now, keep in mind, you know, I am that guy that I want to get a good deal. You know, I'm not afraid to throw an offer at somebody. Um, and some of them, yeah, you know, they wouldn't even call me back or they'd come back with like 200 bucks off of what they were asking here. I'll show you guys around while I'm talking. But, uh, you know, I threw him an offer. He took it right to his manager and came back with an offer. And I mean, we had the deal done within a day. So, I mean, they negotiated with me and that's, that's what got me. So, uh, car salesman, if you're listening, that's what you need to do. Work with your customers. Super, super impressed with this dealership. He totally changed my opinion of working with a dealership, and I think that's awesome. So big thumbs up for Cody there. Um, batteries over on this side, it was different. On my 06, the battery was over there. But one thing that I thought was really interesting, and let's see if I can walk around the side here, is that it actually has a spot for a second battery in here. So I guess you could have two of them, maybe to run accessories or whatnot. I don't really know. Um, also, it, it runs, I thought this was interesting, uh, 0W20 weight, which my wife's car runs that, but I guess this does too now. So that's kind of different, something I'm not used to, but that don't really matter to me. I mean, oil is oil to me. I'll uh, run what it calls for and we'll call it good. But yeah, that's just a look under the hood. And this thing, man, I'm telling you, let me close it. It sits up high, the hood. Let's see if I'm standing right here. This is about up to my chin right here. So this thing sits up high. I'm just super, super glad that it fit in the garage, even if it's just barely, you know. <laughs> Check out these seats, guys. That perforated leather. Man, that is just cool. It's, uh, it's kind of how the AC system works is it actually blows air through this. And then behind here is where it actually, it is. this is either the air intake or output. But man, that is just super cool. Of course, I don't need those air conditioned seats right now because it's uh, we're still winter technically here, but I mean, just check that out. That is super cool. And one thing that I noticed in the 2014, you gained a ton of room between you and the passenger. This truck is so much wider than my old one. I didn't even realize this until I was, you know, driving it. But uh, look at this. You can literally fit a piece of paper. A little shout out to Jackie Cooper BMW there. That's where I actually picked this up. But you can literally fit an entire piece of paper in here. It's crazy. Absolutely crazy. And the storage that they give you, it's just awesome. I mean, look at that. And, and the thoughtfulness, too. Um, I'm, I'm kind of a light freak. I like lighting and LEDs and whatnot. And they give you a little vanity light here for inside of your glove box. I mean, the attention to detail like that is just super super awesome and you know that's what i expect out of chevrolet too um i've always been a chevy guy i'm not gonna lie but of course you got your cup holders and then you got a little compartment under here a real nice deep compartment and then holy cow if you uh if you need usb ports this is the way to go you got an sd card slot 3.5 millimeter head jack you got two usb ports here and then let me tidy that up and then here boom you got three more your uh, 12 volt ports, and then you've even got a standard wall outlet here. That's just crazy. They really did think of everything on this pickup. Really thought of everything. So super impressed and super happy with it so far. Okay guys, that was just my real short video for you. Introducing the new truck to you, which is safely in the garage where it stays most of the time. Of course, unless we're out driving. <laughs> but super slick super clean i hope that you guys like it please leave a thumbs up if you like the pickup and are excited for uh, future content with this pickup i know i am uh super excited i actually slept in it last night just kidding i didn't really but uh, it wouldn't hurt my feelings too <laughs> but anyways super excited and i hope you guys are too 
And I really, really appreciate you guys watching this channel. You know, we're up over a thousand subscribers and I'm hoping that this sort of content will help it grow more. Because uh, I know at least for me it's exciting and I hope it's as exciting for you guys. So uh, thank you guys. I want to say that as well. All right, guys. So if you like the video, leave a thumbs up and be sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any cool content with our new pickup here. And I'll be seeing you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.